free. Mr. Bergeron's on. Don't forget the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. All these loans are based upon three factors. The age of the youngest borrower, the lesser of the appraised value of the property or the HUD lending limit, and the current interest rate. Now, I say the age of the youngest borrower because these are based on actuarial tables. The younger you are, the longer life expectancy you have, so therefore you're going to get a little less access. The older you are, the, the less life expectancy you're going to have, so you're going to get more access to, to the dollars. The, the, HUD, the uh, maximum lending limit, HUD sets a limit of $625,500. What that means is, is that if you have a home that's valued above 625.5, if you're in an $800,000 home, all the numbers are going to be generated off the 625.5 number. And then the current interest rates, which are based upon what they call the LIBOR, L-I-B-O-R, which is the London Interbank Offered Rate. How do I get the money? various different ways. You can take it all in a lump sum. You can put it into a guaranteed line of credit with a growth factor. You can have literally lifetime monthly payments. If you live to be 110 years old and you're still residing in that property, God bless you, that check is still going to keep coming. No matter if you outstrip the value of the property or not. You can put it for a specified term. I want to take X amount of dollars for X amount of years, and then I'm getting out of this cold Massachusetts where I just had to turn on my heat and it killed me. <laughs> but well, that's a whole nother story. And you want to move south. You know, but I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of putting a specified term on things because as we all know, even the best laid plans change. You don't want to get caught later on down the road. Or you can do a combination of any of these. The combination would be is I need to do some home modifications that's going to cost me X amount of dollars, so I want to take that money up front. I'd like to get an additional $500 per month, plus I want to have some money in the line of credit. We can do that. Now, when I set a guaranteed line of credit, this is an extremely important feature of this product is that it is guaranteed by HUD and FHA. That line of credit will never be called. It will never be cut. It will never be canceled. The financial crisis that we're just hopefully coming out of the tail end of, you all heard the stories, and some of you may have been affected by it if you had a line of credit from your local bank where they said, we're taking it back. We're going to cut it down. Or you can't get any more money. We're going to freeze it. That cannot happen in a line of credit with a HECM. And another fantastic feature of that is that line of credit, as I said, has a growth factor. That line of credit, whatever dollars are in there, is going to grow year after year after year. And the simple reason for that is, let's go back to that actuarial table. The older you are, the more access you get. So that's an easy way to describe how that feature works. Okay, we talked about, yes. Yeah, I'm going to run right through. Um, what's the cost? This is where there were some big major changes in, in the product right now. We have a mortgage insurance premium. What the mortgage insurance premium does, it guarantees that the lender will always be made whole. So in other words, if you outstrip the value of the property and end up owing more on your mortgage than the home is worth, you are not responsible for that. Your heirs are not responsible for that, nor are any other assets of your estate. The more, what would happen at that point is the lender is going to file a claim with FHA, who's going to go into that insurance pool and make them whole. Now, this is where things have changed a little bit. They instituted a policy just recently within the last couple weeks where you have a limit on how much funds you can access in the first year. And if that amount is less than 60% of the principal limit, the, 
the mortgage insurance premium is a half a point. If it's more than that 60%, it's two and a half points. Um, the origination fee, as you can see here, again, just for time, I'm not going to run right through it. And then you have your third party closing costs that you'd have in any mortgage. Your initial disbursement limit in the first 12 months cannot exceed the greater of 60% of principal limit, what I just went over. Let's look at an example so you can see how this works. Um, I'm going to skip that mandatory obligation part. So let's say you have a home value of 350000 I put this in here just to make math easy. What you qualify for is your principal limit. Your principal limit is 175, so that gives you your definition of your principal limit. It's the amount of money you qualify for. How old, how old are you doing this again? Um, I didn't put an age on this. Just quick, just a quick example, um, you know, because it does vary with age like that. So, with under the new rules of that 175 that you qualify for, you can access 105 in the first year. Let's say, and your mandatory obligations are only 65, so you're less than the 60%. So you have the lower end of that more upfront mortgage insurance premium. So as we look at that, your max disbursement in the first year is 105. Well, what happens to the rest of the money that I have available to me? At the first year anniversary is when that, the rest of that money comes available to you. So you can see you add these two together, you have 175, and that's what's available to you. So again, I went over things very fast, very quickly, just for time. I'll be around after this if we have any other questions. All right, I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, Steve. Absolutely. And once again, the goal of the exercise is not to be kind of understanding everything that we're talking about or getting all of the details, but knowing what the possibilities are. Um, you need to know, speaking of that, about the SMART program. Christine Cuttings here from SMART to talk to you about that and to talk about the, 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 the specific mortgage that is available to you, it, which is extremely beneficial. Hope, uh, Christine, thank you. So I work for the Home Modification Loan Program and I work here in Framingham, but this program is actually statewide. So I cover the Metro West area, but this program is available across Massachusetts. Um, so basically, we have loans that offer up to $30,000 to make modifications to your home. And we have an extremely um, generous income guidelines for the program. So what's unusual about our program is there are no credit check for our, there's no credit check at all for our program, which is unusual for a loan program. We don't care about your credit. So you don't have to worry about having a credit check. We also don't look at the value of your property either. So um, it's a little bit different than your normal loan program because really the goal is to help people stay in their home and to be able to have the modifications done that they need to their home, similar to what Carol discussed earlier. Um, so there's two types of loans. There's a 0% loan and a 3% loan, in which one you qualify for is based on the income of your household. So here are the incomes, and you can see they're not your typical um, income limits that you see on most of the programs for the state. So a single person can make up to $66,100 a year and qualify for a 0% loan. A 0% loan means you have no monthly payments and you don't have to pay back the loan until your house is sold or transferred. So for most people, most people you can see qualify within the 0% loan category. So two people could make up to $75,000 a year and qualify for a 0% loan. So it's a very generous program on the income guidelines. Um, if you made over $66,000 a year but under $132,000 a year, you could qualify for a 3% loan. A 3% loan, you have a choice of doing it amortized where you pay the principal and the interest at the same time, or you could do it interest only and have a lower payment and then have the large principal payment at the end. And those loan terms are based on how much you borrow. If you borrow up to $5,000, it's five years to pay it back. Up to $10,000, it's 10 years to pay it back. And anything past that, it's 15 years to pay it back. So it could be a pretty low payment to help people get the modifications they need for their home. So basically, a lot of 
similar things that I'm not going to repeat everything that Carol went over earlier, but any type of modification that is permanent to your home are the types of things that could be covered through our program. Um, modifying the kitchen, adding ramps, stair lifts, bathrooms, removing carpet and putting in solid surface flooring. That's something that's very popular for folks as well. Um, adding stair lifts. Adding fences comes up often for children with autism as well. Um, as far as contractors, you hire the contractor. We don't pick the contractor. We're not allowed to recommend contractors. So we just want to make sure that you hire a contractor who's licensed and insured. We have a construction monitor who will meet with you, go over the bid with you to make sure everything's covered that should be covered on the bid. So there's some safety things in place to make sure that everything's there. We don't give you the money in a lump sum either. I'm there with you throughout the process. We make sure we get invoices, that everything's covered, and we go through everything piece by piece. So it's not that I'm going to give you $30,000 and you can run off on vacation and go on a cruise or anything like that. You need to spend the money. <laughs> yeah, that's for him. <laughs> um, what you need to do is spend the money on the modification. So I'm there with you throughout the process and making sure that the contractor is following the plan that was set up and that there's a whole bid proposal in place. So we're there to help you. I'm also available to come to your home, help you fill out the application. So we're really there to, to help you throughout the whole process because we know that going under construction can be overwhelming. Um, we recommend you only do it once. <laughs> um, and we're going to help you through that whole process. But the goal for the program is really to keep people home and help them stay home and not to have a stressful experience. So we'll be there with you throughout that whole process and we'll help you throughout that whole process. So you have a yellow handout sheet which has information about our program. It has the income guidelines on it as well. So it should be there to help you throughout the whole process and you can find my information on that sheet as well. Thanks a million. You're Thank welcome. you very much. Can I just ask a quick round of applause for our wonderful guests?